Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K16 Pro-Am game. We have almost the whole squad today, just missing Josh and early on we have a wide open shot. But look at this unnecessary hesitation. A terrible turnover right there. Walsh set us up perfectly and we did not make the defense pay. Instead, they are going to score the game's first points on the other end off of that jumper. As we cut to the paint and throw it down. These guys had a pretty sparkling game good record i believe it was like 62 win percentage so these guys definitely gonna most likely give us a good game as we're trying to make the right play had the open jumper but we feed the big man because brian was hot to start this game off as you guys see you better get back in transition that's a terrible feeling when you give up a bucket like that and our team we like to hunt for those kind of cheap buckets cherry picking out there you gotta get back as you guys see end of the shot clock end of the quarter actually walsh unfortunately not able to knock down that jumper right there we are in a pretty tight game and what's keeping us in it right now is the big man dominating brian is just getting whatever he wants boards throwdowns here we're eventually going to find our center who gets two more on the board playing good defense getting the board that's gonna start a transition opportunity michael at power forward we're fading and we're hitting what a bucket right there michael not exactly the throwdown kind of guy unless you count throwing down people shot in the paint and and on the other end, Brian, one more time, making the defense fear him. 14 early points for him. We have seven ourselves trying to get Walsh on the board, but he gets blocked. Eventually, the ball moves. It finds the open man. Bang! From downtown, Denny Tice, the shooting guard, Denny Tice. And right now, we are putting up quite a few shots, but we are the point guard on this team. So we're also trying to find the open man. Walsh has made a new small forward. And and Brian is in foul trouble. That is his third foul of the game in the second quarter. That is not good. So, paint presence might exactly not be there because Brian has to not foul out of the game since he's been scoring so well on the offensive end. And Michael has the paint defense covered. Another block for the power forward. We kick it to the CPU. Unfortunately, the CPU turns it over and now they're on the run. They're looking up ahead, but they see nothing but Danny Tice stopping them in their tracks. End of the quarter. Brian got it to go. And that's going to put us up five and a half. You guys see the stats? This game is being played on the inside, being played in the paint on both sides. We are getting pretty much all of our points in the paint and on their side of the ball, 12 points from the power forward, a couple from the center, and that's, you know, definitely keeping them in this one. We're having a pretty good first half, and we just got to avoid plays like this. Great defense from Walsh, just unfortunate. Foul call right there as you see Michael cutting and throwing it down he's got a shooting power forward but he can cock it back every once in a while and catch you off guard and unfortunately his guy is spotting up for three both power forwards had a jump shot and that was a pretty Able wet on one paint. from that guy right there is unfortunately our cpu shooting guard turns the ball over our cpu shooting guard had a big problem with turnovers you guys see he has three normally cps aren't that bad you see my guy is reaching though we end up passing the ball and michael with the nice fine doing a little bit of everything a little bit of scoring a little bit of dishing a little bit of grabbing board I don't know what in the world is going on here, but it's actually going to end up resulting in a layup off this spin move. I don't know, that guy was trying to throw a lob or what. This point guard had a rough game we were going against, though. As you see, Brian pick up another foul. Ford foul of the game. He was avoiding foul trouble for so long as we find the trailing Michael. That's one great thing about having a big man with a jump shot. You can hit trailing jumpers like that. And we're up three. These guys are sticking in it. They just can't seem to grab the lead. I like the way brian is grabbing this rim when he throws it down every time he has slowed down a little bit in this third quarter but nonetheless we're finding ways to get buckets unfortunately one guy who's not getting buckets is walsh as the cpu throws a whatever that was a rolling ball out of bounds no one called for that cpu with his four turnover dave lost struggling thankfully michael will get the steal right there they almost get it right back but michael's gonna find us top of the key got it danny tice delivering a timely bucket right there end of the quarter giving it to michael advance pass and oh my goodness brian actually missed that one that's one of the easier shots he's taken all game as you guys see like i said this point guard was struggling all game trying to find his shot walsh 
And this might be part of the reason why he hasn't scored too many points. He's passing it to the CPU on the break when he had the open layup. As Brian with the good defense knocks him loose. But they get the lucky bounce and put back. Obviously, basketball part of it. 50-50 ball. That's a 50-50 ball. Won by the CPU. Look at Walsh running the break. Finding us for three. It is. Oh, took a couple of bounces off the iron. Looked like we might get the friendly roll, but unfortunately, we didn't get it in the away stadium. Instead, they draw a foul on Dave. Our CPU go to the line, make both Denny ties open, pull up, but going a little bit cold. Looked like Michael might have the defense or offensive rebound instead. Here they are pushing the pace, but a bad bounce pass leads to a steal. Look at the CPU putting on the moves and turning it over again. His fifth turnover. Michael with the reach and foul to stop them in transition. Oh man, oh man, oh man! Brian gets his fifth foul of the game. He is one foul away from being ejected from this game. And we need him. We can't have him foul out. So now, obviously, they're going to try to attack this paint with under two minutes to go. We just got to outscore him and outlast them. And that's going to help a cut of ourselves. Michael with a nice feed. A little give and go right there on the next possession on the other end. Bang! First shot was a big shot from the point guard on their team. And now we got to keep on going at them Brian nice pass open shot Denny Tice starting to deliver in this one back to back buckets here they are driving drawing the foul good defense forcing them to go to the free throw line felt like we didn't need to foul him but um unless they make both and once again they keep on putting pressure on our defense but they try to draw a charge Walsh had the open shot pass out of it Walsh to me for three got it oh what a shot we are locked and loaded start off the fourth quarter Cole but here we go they need a bucket on this possession point guard for three can't get it to go Michael grabs the board look at who's ahead it's Walsh and that's gonna be his first field goal made of the game he had a rough shooting game but we put him on the board and that is going to be the dagger just great team went all around like I said Walsh struggled a little bit but he was able to move the ball well sometimes when you're not shooting well you got to find other ways to contribute and he definitely did that a little bit of assist a little bit of rebound doing all of that we had some clutch buckets down this stretch and that wrapped that game up leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more shooting guard Denny Tice is pretty cheesy at point guard but it's all good so I'll catch you guys next time